Children have a natural love for learning. Yet what we as a collective society have forgotten is that children are first emotional beings. They operate at an emotional level, not an intellectual level. That's the definition of being a child. The hierarchy of learning pyramid describes why we need to have a trauma-informed approach in our schools. Starting with the physiological needs, this includes breathing, freedom from hunger and thirst, being rested, and being regulated. The next step is our safety needs. This includes physical safety, emotional safety, freedom from bullies, freedom from harsh punishments. The next step would be relationship and love. This includes having that relationship with our friends, teachers, school administrators, and family. The next step up is esteem and self-love. This includes the child's self-esteem, self-respect, confidence, respect of others, respect by others, and desire to achieve. The final step up the pyramid includes learning. This includes motivation, creativity, problem solving, memory, and curiosity. Instead of addressing the top of the pyramid, which is what we have traditionally done, we must first address everything below the top in order to ultimately reach the top of the pyramid. Trusting the process of meeting the social and emotional needs of our students to achieve academic success is the ultimate in making the shift to a trauma-informed school. As Heather Forbes says, creating a trauma-informed school isn't about teachers becoming therapists. It's about creating an environment that focuses on relationship, trust, and emotional safety.